Hello, good evening. How are you? Hello, give me a second. Uh, I can't hear you guys. Nope. Christy, how are you? Hello, teacher. I am fine. Good. I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Hello, Karen. Hello, Karen. Can you hear me? Karen, can you hear me or no? Karen? Let me switch to Karen. Okay. What about Nelson? Hello, Nelson. Hello, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Thank you. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm glad. All right. Excellent. Uh, hello, Argelia. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. How about you? I'm good. Thank you. Thank you for asking. You're welcome. Yeah, it's good to see everybody. Well, well, many of you because I, I, I can't see everybody right now. Um, Herson, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello, can you? Okay, there you are. Okay. How are you, Nelson? Uh, sorry, Harrison. Five teacher, I'm still at work. Oh, you are. Okay. okay. Yes. Well, I uh, I really thank you for connecting, even though you are at work. So that's excellent. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay. And uh, let me see. Let me say hi to Marlene. Hello. How are you, Marlene? Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing? I'm um, great. I get out of my home. You're you're out of your I, office right now? Yes. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. Uh, but you you will be able to put your camera on. Is it possible to put the camera? Marlene? No? Hello? Is it possible to put your camera on? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, one second. Okay. Okay, good. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, Christy and Nelson. I still can't, I can't see Nelson. Nelson? Hello. Hello. Hi, there he is. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, guys. So I'm going to take attendance um, because oh, it's time for attendance. So Alejandra, this is not here. And uh, Annie. Oh, no, sorry, sorry. Christina, Christina. First, Christina. No, right? No, Christina. Okay. What about Annie? Annie, is Annie here? No? Okay. Uh, what about uh, Marisol? Mari? No, Mari. Carolina? Um, Car Carolina? Good evening, teacher. Okay, welcome. Yes, welcome, Thank Carolina. You. Okay. Yes. Um, Let's see, uh, Christy. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Welcome. And Herson. Present. Okay, very good. Uh, welcome. And Karina. Karina. 
No, no, Karina. Okay. Um, and Linda? Linda? Okay. Julia? Julia? No, Julia. Okay. Marlene? Present. Okay, very good. Maida? Maida? Okay. Um, Miguel? Present. Okay, welcome, Miguel. Thank you. And Nelson? Present teacher. Okay, very good. Uh, welcome, Nelson. Norma? Norma? No, Norma. Okay, Olga? Present teacher, Lini. Okay. All right, welcome, Olga. Thank you. And Rafa? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Rafa. Thank you, teacher. Senaida? Senaida is not here. Okay, what about Suleima Rodriguez? Suleima Rodriguez? No. Okay, and uh, Argelia? Present, teacher. All right, welcome. Teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. oh, okay. Yeah, I saw Suleyma. it. Okay, welcome, Suleima. And Nancy? Nancy? No, no, Nancy. And Juan Carlos? Present, teacher. All right, welcome, Juan Carlos. And Karen? Present teacher. All right, welcome, Karen. Thank you. And Suleima? Present teacher. All right, very good. Welcome, Suleima. Thank you. Are you better? Do you feel better, Suleima? Yes. Yeah, okay, good. I'm glad to hear that. And Carla? Carla? Okay, bye. I'm going to uh, repeat the people that I didn't hear. I didn't hear Alejandra. Present teacher, good evening. Ah, okay, good evening, Alejandra. Okay. Oh, hold on. Give me a moment, me equivoqué acá. Okay, um, Cristina, eh, I didn't hear. An, uh, An, Ani, yes, Cristina, Ani, Marisol, Karina, Linda, Julia, Mayra, Nelson, Norma, Zenaida, Nancy, and Carla. Present teacher. Ah, okay. Welcome, Carla. Okay. ¿De ahí nadie más? ¿De ahí nadie más que, que, que haya perdido? No. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, uh, we're going to continue then. Okay. So, guys and girls, welcome to today's class. I'm glad that you guys connected. I'm glad to see you this week. Um, hoy concluimos con nuestra cuarta semana de clase y por lo tanto les recuerdo de que hoy es el último día para entregar la unidad 3. No tienen que hacer el, meter, el final exam, pero sí la unidad 3. ¿Ok? ¿Alguna preguntita sobre eso? No, teacher. No. Ok, va, muy bien. Um, sí, solo les recuerdo para que uh, pues, te, lo tengan ahí en consideración. 
Okay. All right. So what we're going to do, we have lots to learn today, a lot of in information today. So we're going to be starting right away. Um, I'm going to present my PowerPoint. Please tell me if you can see it. Okay, if, can you see it? Yes, no? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, very good. Um, okay, excellent. So this is the Course English for Work program, Intermediate Module 1. And uh, this is, uh, the topic is Unit 3, uh, Review and Practice, uh, day number 20. Your facilitator is Jessica Lisette Guerrero. Okay, so um, what we're going to do is we're going to do a pair discussion first. The discussion is going to be this. First question, have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? So imagine that, a, like, this is some... Um, this is imagining that, um, that you are the person that is in charge, right? And um, one of the personnel does not, um, does not um, call on time. They just, uh, last minute, you know, like maybe they are supposed to start work at eight in the morning and they call at 750 that they cannot they cannot make it uh, have you has this ever happened to you and if it has how did you handle handle the situation did you get a substitute you understand substitute right yes yeah okay so somebody who can cover in other words okay um, and did you assume some of the absent employees' responsibilities? So you yourself had to um, do what the absent employee had to do, okay? So do we understand the questions? Do you understand the questions? Please tell me if you don't understand them. Yes, I do. Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. Por favor, eh, si alguien no lo entiende, es el momento para decir, no, no lo entiendo, ¿verdad? No es cuando entran a la sala y les dicen a los compañeros. Yo no entendí lo que la teacher quería decir. Teacher, repeat, please. Okay. What part? The instructions or, or the question that I'm asking you? The questions. Okay. The question is, do you understand these questions? Or are there any words that you don't understand? So okay. do, you, do you understand the, all the questions? Yes. Yes? Oh, yes, yes. Okay, good. So I'm going to give you I would say about six minutes, okay, to practice with your partner, or better said, not practice, discuss, okay? But remember, the idea is to discuss in English, not in Spanish, okay? We don't want to have many people discuss it in Spanish because then that's, you know, like they say in Spanish, de que vale, right? If you're going to be speaking Spanish, then you're not really learning English. You're not practicing English. You're, you're never going to get better at English if you are just practicing Spanish, okay? 
So I'm going to start um, the groups, the breakout rooms. Okay, and I'm like I said, I'm gonna give you about six minutes to discuss. Is it clear what we're doing? Yeah? Okay, here we go. Let's open the rooms. Marlene, do you have any questions? Marlene, are, are you having any problems? Marlene? Lydia, see. Yes. yes, I have a, a reference for this. Um, I what I have a, a a people that he tell me in ten minutes at the at, at the time to keep. Uh, let me see. Como se lo puede explicar? Okay. Uh, he told me for for cell phone for cell phone. Uh -huh. He has or oh, he had a problem and with with the family and he is. Yeah, he was uh, so exciting and and worry. Creo que era preocupado, ¿verdad? Worry. Worry. Uh huh. Uh -huh. He was worried about his mom, and he think that he how uh, COVID okay. symptoms and uh, uh, yeah. How did you handle the situation? Um, I talk on some activity. Will she agree with? Mm -hmm. uh -huh. In my case, we reassign the, the, the responsibility for all of for the rest of the employee. Or maybe that's all. And did you get a substitute? In my case, in my case, no, no, we don't get a substitute. Okay. What about you? And here, and 
in my case, it and he do assume some of the absent employee responsibility. Right? Sorry? In my case, is did you assume some of the absent employees responsibility? So you assume some of the absent employee responsibility. I am. Uh, um, for me, it's depend what what employee absent at work because we, for example, we have ten leads. And if one of them absent from the uh, from the work, um, we we need to do sometimes the responsibility that they have they have assigned. So yes, maybe maybe I assume the responsibility. What happened, girls? Maybe we finished, teacher. <laughs> okay, that's good. That's good. But still, don't don't be quiet. Like, I mean, uh, don't just simply um, go into silence. Like, try to have more uh, conversation, ask questions, continue the conversation. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's the 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 difficult part. <laughs> I know. I know it's a challenge, but the more you do it the less difficult it will become, right? So it will become easier every time. Okay? So, so I know force, I know it's difficult, but force yourself, ask questions, simple questions like, how was your day today? Simple, right? Okay, all right. Okay, okay. I'll see you in the main room. Okay, see you. Okay, all right, very good. Did you have enough time to discuss with your partner? We need more time, teacher. You need more time? Yes. Really? Yes, please. Everybody needs more time? Yes, teacher. Wow, okay. Um, okay. I'm only gonna give you two more minutes, okay? Because we have a lot of information to cover today, okay? So only two more minutes. All right. Hey, thank you. Thanks. Uh -huh. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to open up the rooms.
Hi girls, I know you just came in, so I'm letting you know in the WhatsApp group, they sent a picture of the questions that we are discussing. Okay, so you can use those, those questions. Okay? okay. It's in the WhatsApp yeah. group. Okay? Okay, teacher. Mm. Senaida, voy a, voy a ver la, la imagen del WhatsApp, pero aquí estoy pendiente. Okay. Have you ever in this kitchen? Okay, good, good, good. Um, Thank you. Right, continue the conversation though. Like, uh, like, don't don't just go into silence. Okay. Slime and now, okay. And the first one, yes, I have. Second yes. is uh, I inform human resource about the situation with the collaborator. And number three, yes, I have a substitute. And number four, no, because the substitute could carry out the, the work of the absent person. It's okay or not? Okay. And the last one. And the last one, no, because the substitute could carry out the work of the absent person. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Suleim. Veronica. Yes. Thank you. Uh, yes, I have. For, have you ever got a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? Yes, I have. Number two, how did you handle the situation? Uh, I inform human resource about the situation with the collaborator. Number three, did you get a substitute? Yes, yeah. I have a substitute. Uh -huh. and number four, did you as, assume, assume it? Yeah, but did you assume, as some assume. Of the, assume some I, of the absent, absent employees responsibly? And no, because the substitute could carry out the work of the absent person. Very good. Okay. But, eh. La voy a poner en mi libro para repasarla bien. Read it the, the answer to Lena. Hmm? Read it. The answer. Um, que lo lea. Ah, okay. I had you ever got a last minute notice about the member of your staff not going to work? Yes, I have. But la number one. Mm -hmm. Number two, who did you handle the situation? Uh, I inform human resource about the situation with the collaborator. Sorry, right? Mm -hmm. Number three, did you get a situation? Situ sit to, ay. Did you get, get a substitute? Yes, I have substitute. 
Así se pronuncia eso. Substitute. Ah, teacher. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 no. You don't have to apologize. You don't have to apologize. Okay. No, I'm just helping you. Substitute. Sub yeah. Thank you. Substitute. Mm -hmm. Number four. Did you assume it from the asking employee responsibility? Uh, no, because the substitute, substitute thank you, called carry or the word, the assistant person. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, person. Okay. Finish the chart. Okay, good. I will see you in the main room in a moment. Okay, thanks. thanks. Okay, very good. All right, everybody. Um, so did you finish? Were you able to discuss the questions? Yes, it's true. Okay, good, good. Okay, so let's talk about these questions. First question, have you ever gotten a last minute notice about a member of your staff not going to work? Has this ever happened? Sometimes happens to show. Yeah, it happens, doesn't it? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, most of the time, I think most people would say yes, right? That at some moment, uh, one of your colleagues has called in at the last minute, they, and nobody knows, and you have to be like running, running to see what you can do. How did you handle the situation? Tell me about that. How did you handle the situation? Mm -hmm. Teacher, in my case, good evening. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. In my case, if the employees has a shift in the afternoon, uh, I I I have a substitute. A substitute. A substitute. Yes, a substitute. Subs substitute. Substitute. Yes. Mm -hmm. But the employees is in the chief uh, AM is very, very difficult because the driver has a, a schedule. Mm, okay. One is schedule. Okay. All right. Good, good. All right, what about the rest of you? What can you say about this? Mm -hmm. In my case, teacher, in my company, mm -hmm. we are few. You and are then, one. Pocos. Oh, few. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Yes. Few. Yes. Yes. And then when a coworker don't arrive at the office, in my case, I try. Uh, I do uh, some activity. Okay. So you. My, uh huh. Sorry. Yes. Oh my my coworker. 
you have to cover for them then. Yes. You have to cover for your coworker. Okay. Yes. I see. I see. Okay. Okay. Very good. Um, okay. Um, very good. Let's move on then. Um, okay. The next question was. Um, hold on. Sorry, guys. Oh, okay. Next question is. Um, did you assume some of the absent employees' responsibilities? Did you have to assume that you did you um, do the other person's job? Or no, you just left it. Mm-hmm. Yes. Did you leave it or or what happened? Some responsibilities. No, no all responsibilities. Oh, okay. In my case, in my case. Okay. So some you took, other ones you didn't. Okay. Then, yes. That's fair enough. Okay. Good. Excellent. Okay. So what we're gonna do, um, we're going to move on to the next part. Today, we're going to be learning a little bit about um, giving regret and remorse. Okay. So please tell me if you can see. You see. The regrets and remorse? Yes. Yeah? Okay, good. Understand. All right, so we have regrets and remorse. Do we understand the word regrets? Huh? I don't know, teacher. You don't know the word regrets? No, me neither, teacher. Okay. Anybody have an idea of what is a regret? I don't remember, teacher. No? No, teacher. Okay. Okay. Arrepentirse? Um, the, as a verb, yes, but these are, this is regrets. It's a noun. Okay. Um, so it would be. Uh, no, it's a noun. Excuse me. Arrepentimiento. Arrepentimiento. Very good. Exam exactly. And remorse? Remorse? Remordimiento. Remordimiento. Very good. Okay, good. So sometimes we wish, we wish that we could do things differently. We have a regret, right? But then sometimes our conscious are is like saying, no, that's bad. That's bad. A very bad, a bit bad decision. And that's a remorse. Okay. So a regret is something you say, oh, it was a, it was a bad idea. I, you know, it, it, I, uh, things could have been different. And remorse is like saying, oh, this is like, I have a very guilty conscience. Okay? Do we understand? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So let's learn how to talk about a remorse and a guilt, um, regrets and a guilt and remorse, okay? So for this, we have to be using the perfect modals. Perfect modals. What are modals? Remember, modals are like could, can, will, won't, um, would, uh, might, may, shall, um, should, um, could, 
okay, and all of those, okay, those are modals, okay. So we use perfect modals to express regret or remorse about past actions. This is very important. You cannot be, re you cannot remorse, you cannot show a regret about a present action or a future action. It has to be about a past action. Okay, so to always remember that this is for a past action. Okay. All right, now how this is perfect, perfect forms. Remember a perfect form is basically using the, the, the have, okay, the auxiliary have. So the structure is the following. We use should have, or in the negative shouldn't have, plus a past participle to talk about regrets. Okay, I'll repeat. We use should have, or in the negative, shouldn't have. Always have, not has, not had, always have. Always, 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 independent of the subject. It can be I, you, he, she, it, we, they. It's always gonna be have. So should have or shouldn't have. And then a past participle, okay? Example, we have, Uh, so he says, I should have, okay, right there like this, should have, and then the past participle, the past participle here is sent. So I should have sent the report sooner. So that's a regret. Oh, I should have sent the report sooner. Okay. Or we can have I shouldn't, negative, right? I shouldn't have the same, right? If it's negative, you're just gonna put shouldn't have. And then past participle is asked. I shouldn't have asked her to carry those bags. Is that pretty clear? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Sorry, teacher, repeat. Okay, so we have should have, so I should have, or negative, I shouldn't have. I should have or I shouldn't have, and the past participle. Past participle of send is sent. Past participle of ask is asked. <laughs> All right, is that clear? Okay, the other structure that we can use is this one. We can use would and could have. So we can say could have, would have, right? Or, then, uh, or the opposite is also true. Actually, no, hold on. Um, yeah, no, actually not, not so much. You can, not so much with could, with would, yes, we can use the negative, not so much with could, okay? And the structure is this, we're gonna use if plus the had, always had, and past participle, okay? Example, we say, if I had, known Hold on. so we have the have sorry sorry we have the if okay and then we had a the had okay um, so had, oops, sorry. Mm 
we're always going to use had. So if plus had, and then past participle. Okay, so the past participle in this case is known. So we have if, the had, and past participle known. So if I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. Notice we're using could have. We always use could have. Okay. And after could have, we use a past participle, which is, in this case, gotten. That comes from got. Okay. What does it say? If I had known you were sick, I could have gotten a substitute. What does that say? Si yo hubiera conocido, um, hubiera sabido, hubiera sabido, ajá, si yo hubiera si sabido, yo hubiera sabido ajá, que estamos enfermos, que estamos enfermos, podría haber, ajá, podría ya. haber conseguido un sustituto. Pudiese haber conseguido un sustituto. Uh -huh. Very good. Exactly. The same. So that's that's a regret, right? Uh, or another example. You can say the manager could have fixed. So this is the opposite. We can we're going to do it. We're going to start with the other way. Okay. So here we're going to start with with could. So if the could have, right? So the manager could have, and past participle is fixed your schedule. And then we have here the if you had, okay, had, and past participle is mentioned, coming from mentioned. Okay. So this is the same as this one, except that you are switching it. There are two parts and you can switch. You can put first the could in the, or the, the could have or the would have, and then the if clause, or you can put first the if clause and then could have or would have. Okay. Another example, I would, oh, sorry, before we go on to the other example, what does it say? The manager could have fixed her schedule if you had mentioned it to him. El El The manager, what is manager? El gerente. El gerente, very good. El gerente could have fixed Pudo haber Podría haber Podría haber arreglado. Arreglado su horario. Podría haber arreglado. Si se lo hubiera mencionado. Su horario. Sí. Si tú lo hubieras mencionado. Si, si se lo hubiera mencionado. Si, si tú se lo hubieras mencionado. Good. Ok. Uh, or we can have the would, right? So that's the other option. We can say, I would have. And then um, past participle is come. I would have come to work if, so here's the if, right? And then we have, if I had, so here's the had, and past participle received the schedule on time. So what does that say? I would have come to work if I had received the schedule on time. What does that say? Yo, yo hubiera, uh -huh. yo podría venir a trabajar. Yo habría venido a trabajar. trabajar. Yo hubiera, si hubiera recibido. Si yo hubiera, hubiera venido a trabajar. Si, si hubiera recibido el horario tiempo. Si hubiera recibido el horario tiempo. Very good. Exactly. 
So those are the two options. You can either use should have plus the past participle or could have, would have, and then if, had, and past participle, or you can switch. The only thing is that if you put the if at the beginning, okay, valga la redundancia, if you put the if at the beginning, then you have to use a comma, like here. That's the only difference, okay? All right. And I've given you some examples here. He should have gone to bed. So say right like this one. Should have gone to bed early instead of playing video games with his friends. What does that say in Spanish? El. Debiese haber, haber ido a la cama temprano. Debiese haber ido a la cama temprano. Y como es que se pone así. Ajá. Continue. En vez de estar jugando. En vez de estar jugando. Jugando videojuegos. Videojuegos. Con sus amigos. amigos. Very good. He shouldn't have hung around with his friends every day instead of studying. Él no debería de salir con sus amigos. Él in the past. Él no No hubiese pasado tiempo con sus amigos todos los días. Instead, en lugar de, en lugar de. Estar estudiando. De estar estudiando. Ok. On the on the uh -huh. Good. They shouldn't, they, sorry, they should have saved money by avoiding going shopping too frequently. Ellos. Hubiesen ahorrado dinero. Hubiesen ahorrado dinero. Para evitar. ¿Mm? Ellos de debían ser shopping, haber, en vez de ir de compras frecuentemente. En vez de ir de compras frecuentemente. En negative, we shouldn't have rejected the training the company offered to be given to be given a promotion. Nosotros dijéramos no claro la capacitación. No debimos de haber rechazado. Haber rechazado la capacitación de la compañía. La ofreció. Ajá, la, la capacitación que la compañía ofreció para dar una, dar una promoción. Aunque en este caso en promoción no es exactamente la palabra, sino que sería. Dar un ascenso. ¿Ah? Ascenso. Un ascenso. Very good. Exactly. All right. So this is the other one. If I had said goodbye. So notice if I had said goodbye, we could have fixed our friendship. Sí. Yo. Yo. Adiós. Oh, si hubiera dicho adiós, dicho adiós, nosotros, nosotros podríamos, podríamos haber arreglado nuestra mm -hmm. relación. Exactly. Nuestra amistad. Nuestra amistad. Perdón. Yeah, exactly. Very good. If I had gone to Northern Canada, okay. 
I got to ido al norte. I would have tried snowboarding and skiing. Si yo hubiera hubiera uh -huh. ido, ido al norte de Canadá. Uh -huh. Yo podría tener o podría haber tratado haber tratado probado ah, probado Ajá. yo hubiera probado hubiera probado yeah. ir snowboarding y Y yes, yes, yes. mm -hmm. If I had taken a taxi, I could have arrived on time. Si hubiera tomado un taxi, podría haber llegado temprano. Yo pudiera haber llegado temprano, muy bien. I wouldn't have been sick if I hadn't eaten so much. Yo, yo que yo no habría estado enfermo si yo no hubiera comido mucho. Uh -huh. Ya, yeah. yo no hubiera estado enfermo si yo no hubiera comido mucho. Very good. There you go. Excellent. And just remember that if you put, if you put the if clause at the beginning, just be careful that you are always using the comma in the middle. That's it, okay? But in this one, no, because you're not using the if at the beginning. Okay? Any questions about this? Do you understand it? It's not clear. It's clear, it's not clear. It's clear. Okay. You sure? Yes? Yes, teacher. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, we are going to, in that case, we're going to be doing some exercises. So these are the exercises. Complete the sentence with should, could, would, have, plus the past participle, okay? So you're going to be working with the partner on this, but before we do this, okay, um, I'm going to take attendance, okay? So these are the exercises you're going to do with your partner, and you're going to figure it out how to complete the sentences. Okay. Ready? Here are our attendants. Alejandra. Present teacher. Cristina. Present teacher. Very good. Annie. Present teacher. Very good. Mari. Mari, Carolina, listen. Eh, Christ, eh, Cristina, present. Herson, present. Eh, Karina, present. Linda, Linda, eh, Julia. Julia. Okay, uh, Marlene. Present teacher. Okay, good. Maida. Maida. Okay. Uh, Miguel. Present, present. Very good, excellent. Nelson. Present. Very good. Norma. 
tienes chiquito, mamá? Norma? Ok. Eh, Olga? Present. Ok, very good. Rafa? Present, teacher. Excellent. Zenaida? Present, teacher. Ok, very good. Uh, Suleima Rodríguez? Present, teacher. Ok, very good. And Argelia? Present, teacher. Very good. Nancy? Present, teacher. Ok, very good. Juan Carlos? Present. Ok, very good. Karen? Present. Very good. Suleima Milgar? Present, teacher. Ok, very good. Uh, Carla? Carla? Ok. Ah, there she is. Ok, good. Excellent. Ok, what we're going to do then now is I'm going to um, assign you again with your partner. We're going to keep the same partners as before, ok? And uh, you're going to be discussed, you're going to be creating or completing the exercises. Do you understand what you have to do with your partner? Completing the exercises. Right, exactly. So these exercises right here. Okay. Using the part, part CP. Mm -hmm. Sorry. Using the past participle. For... Yes, using the past participle. Exactly. You have okay. to remember the past participle. Past participle for regular verbs, it just put ed. Only like, like the past, the simple past. But if it's irregular, then you have to learn something different. Okay. So I'm going to give you how about 10 minutes. Can you do this in 10 minutes or a little bit less? Can you do it in eight minutes? Same. 10 minutes. It's okay. 10 minutes or eight minutes? 10 minutes. 10. 10 minutes? Okay. Yeah. All right. Let's open up the rooms then. No, Marlene, la sacó. Yep. Okay. Bye. Um, bye. Le, voy a, le voy a mover dos veces, ok? Así que no se vaya a asustar. Ok. Ok.
No. <risa> no sé qué pasa. Solo entré y me, me sacó de nuevo. Ok. No quieren que trabajen. <risa> Vamos a intentar una última vez. The bartender have shouldn't, shouldn't take it. Shouldn't take in that bottle of wine oh. without permission. Yeah. No, de, no debió haber tomado la botella de vino sin permiso. Sería. El bartender no debió haber tomado la botella sin permiso. Sin permiso. Number three. Okay. Yes. En number three, number three, the server. The the server have. will have will have uh -huh. in trouble trouble if they have been later for the meeting yeah will have shouldn't shouldn't have <coughs> the servers would have, would have been She will have come. I will have the servers. Will have been. Will have been. Uh -huh. in if they in have been. If they have let it for the meeting. If they have been late for the meeting. Okay. Yes. Los, uh, mm -hmm. Los servers son los uh, meseros, ¿verdad? Los meseros. Los meseros. Yeah. Podrían haber estado en problemas. Por si bien. ellos hubieran. Si ellos hubieran llegado tarde por, para la reu, reunión. Así sería. Algo así. Es que me, esa palabra no sé qué es. Trouble. Esa no sé qué significa. Es problema. Es problema, ¿verdad? Es el problema. Si no sí, así a es. mí me confunden mucho de hubieran. Sí, have been es hubieran. If they have been. Los meseros hubieran tenido problemas si hubieran llegado tarde a la reunión. Will have been. Uh -huh. okay. Bueno, ahorita. La otra. Next. Eh, you you should, should have. Uh, have as, uh, pero y el verbo as, 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 uh, mm -hmm. the manager as, for a day of, pero, for a day of, so, y en la traducción cómo sería? Yes. Mm -hmm. Had been okay. Number four. Excuse me. Look. Sorry. Um. In in the, in the trees. Is good had. Who been in. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. in trouble if they have been? Well, eso ya sabe. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. And four. Four sería. No, no, you should have asking. Oh. You should have asked. Con and then ask, uh -huh. asked, you should 
have asked, asked, ay, si me, me cuesta, asked the manager for a day off. You should, you should have asked, ask, ask the manager. Okay. Why the question? Student has, has taken take take ah mm -hmm. see. Do the cashier shouldn't has shouldn't has said hate or shouldn't have shouldn't have or shouldn't has do I do shouldn't have right ha uh huh shouldn't have. have yes shouldn't have okay please okay. remember okay. teacher because uh, why uh because uh, we always after after we use a mo a modal all after all modals we use an infinitive Okay, after all modals, all modals are um, will, would, uh, could, can, um, may, might, should, um, ought to, all of those. After all of the modal auxiliaries, we always use the base form of the verb. Okay. It's a, it's Thank a you, That is 100% of the time. Okay. Okay, teacher. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay. And then, and then, and then, and then, Winston. Yes, Winston. En, en la segunda antes de la palabra permission. Permission. Uh, the, bar the bartender should not. Window. With go. Uh, ah, sin permiso. Ah, sí, por eso decimos. Tomar la botella sin permiso. Uh -huh. That water or wind good. They were attending shouldn't take that bottle of wine with some, with some permission. Some permission for the service will be in trouble, in trouble in the evening. You may for the money to ask the money for a thing. La número cinco, that money from the register. Ya nos llamaron. Bye. <laughs> ya nos llamaron. Uh, no. no. Practice. Okay. Practice. How many years do you, did you work in a hotel? What? How many years did you work in the hotel? 
Much. Many. Many How years. Many? How many years? How many years? Oh. ¿Cuántos años trabajó? Eh, Receptionist. Yes. Is, mm, for. No remember. Okay. No. Is for. Y Bigini es eh, Resecciones y el Dent eh, Educated Sales. Nice. In my uh -huh. case, I have two years now for Resecciones. Resecciones. In, in my case, is eh, as uh, is a a county assist, assistant is um, secretary is um, receptionist is uh, actually is um, educated sales okay mm, uh, currently yes is um, the executive sales is um, uh, more or less um, 20, 20 years. 20 years? Yes. It's, it's a long time. <laughs> uh -huh. Sí, yes. Um, it's an experience, more or less. Do you like it? Yes. That's good. <laughs> <laughs> Experience. Mm. Okay, are you ready? Yes, teacher. Yes, it's all, you got everything? Yes. Yeah? Yes, teacher. Perfect, okay. All right, in that case, um, we're going to um check the answers together as a class um okay can you see can you see my powerpoint yes teacher yes teacher yes teacher okay okay here we go so we're going to be checking the answers. Okay, um, and you guys are gonna help me write the answers down. Okay, so I'm gonna start with um, Suleyma Rodriguez. Can you help me with the first? Well, the first one has been done for you. If the service had received poor training, they could have answered the customer's questions. Sorry, proper training, not poor training. Okay, number two, the part, the bartender. The bartender shouldn't have taken that bottle, that bottle of wine without permission. Okay, shouldn't have taken. How do you know you? All right. So let's go on to the next one, number three. Um, Juan Carlos. The servers could bing. Bing, bing. 
would been like that. In Tore in the have been late for the mean meeting. So so like this one, Carlos? Is this correct? Perhaps. The server have been. Have been, okay. Okay, like this. Is that correct, Juan Carlos? Juan Carlos? Yes. Yeah? Okay. All right. Good. Thank you. Number four, we're going to have Alejandra. Hello, teacher. Is you should you should have asked the manager for a day off like this. Like that. Alejandra. Um, yes. Or oh, ask it. Ask. Asked or ask? Which one? Uh, ask. Ask, just like this? Like this? Uh huh, yes or no? Panda? Yes. Yeah, okay. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, next, number five. Let's have um, um, Carla. Please tell me with this, Carla. Okay. The cashier shouldn't have taken that money from the register. Like that? Yes. Okay, thank you very much. Very well. And the last one we'll have, let's see. Vamos a ver. I think one of the boys can help us. Um, how about Harrison? Okay, teachers. Um, I should have called her to let the manager. I was sick. I should have called? I should have called her. Call or called? Call it. Called. Okay. Like that? To let the manager. I was sick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Although there's actually, there's a problem there in, but that's not your, your fault. It's just, there, we should, we should add the word no. So just, just wanted to let you know that we should, um, the manager no. right there. So, so that was actually, yeah, it's, that's not a, your problem. It's just, some we had forgotten to put there okay so i should have called to let the manager know i was sick okay all right so let's check to see if you guys are right let's start with the first one the bartender shouldn't have taken that bottle of wine without permission is that correct yes yes teacher yes teacher very good next number three the servers would have been in trouble if they had been late for the meeting. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, very Correct. good. You should have asked the manager uh, for a day off. No, no, it's no. not right. No. Missing idiom. Good. 
we should be adding asked because it's past participle, right? Past participle of ask is asked. You should have asked. Okay, so you should have asked for the manager for a day off. Next. The cashier shouldn't have taken uh, that money from the register. Is that correct? Yes, teacher. Yes, correct, teacher. Yes, yeah, it's very good. And I should have called to let the manager know I was sick. Is that correct? Yes. Mm. Correct, teacher. Sorry? Yes, it's correct. To let the manager know. It is correct. Now, yes, remember, remember, you always have to use have. Okay? So in all of these, you will notice there's a common denominator. Right? And it said it's it says shouldn't have, would have, should have, shouldn't have. I should have. And notice it's independent of the subject here. Well, actually the same thing here, right? Okay. So if you notice it's independent of the subject because in this one, for example, the subject is they. Here, the subject is the bartender. So it's third person singular. Here are the servers. Here are you. Here are the cashier. And here I, and independent of the subject, we always use have. Why? Because we're, have is preceded by a modal auxiliary. And the rule is with all modal auxiliaries, with all the modal auxiliaries, we use a, the base form of the verb for the next, the next verb. Okay, they all follow a modal auxiliary. Okay, is that pretty clear for everybody? Yes, clear. Okay, very good, excellent. Okay, so let's practice a little bit, a little bit more. It's your turn now. Read the following situations and discuss with a partner about the actions a manager could have done to improve or to solve them. So I'm going to show you different situations. You have to discuss with your partner what is the best solution to solve them. But you have to use um, the could have done. Okay, that's the idea. You should, you should use could have done, okay? Oh, sorry. Uy, ¿qué pasó? Okay, so, um, so the manager could have blah, blah, blah. The manager shouldn't have blah, 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 okay? So the situations are the following. Money has disappeared from the register machine, but I can't tell who it is, who it is, who is taking it. Next situation, someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the servers has reported the issue. My customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. The kitchen manager has been taking, taking stuff from the storage room. And finally, the schedule is a mess and it is very difficult for staff to understand it. So those are the five situations and you have to discuss what the manager could have done to improve. What would be the best way to act? Do we understand the instructions? Yes, no? Not yet. Not yet? You don't understand the, the instructions? No, Yes. Okay, so these are the situations. And you are asking, you're gonna be discussing with your partner, 
what action the manager could have taken in the past. ¿Qué hubiese hecho el, el gerente in each one of these situations? Okay? Okay. And of course, the idea is to use this, right? The regrets and remorse. Okay, so that's why you should you should be using these um, structures here. Okay, should have plus past participle, or could or would have, and the if and had plus past participle. One of these two. Okay, is that pretty clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. Good. All right. And so remember, the idea is to discuss these situations, these five situations. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put you into pairs. Um, I'm going to make new breakout rooms. Give me a moment. Okay. All right. I'm going to give you about 10 minutes to discuss. Oh, maybe a little bit less. Give you eight minutes to discuss the, the, the situations. Okay. We're using could have, uh, would have, um, um, should have. I shouldn't have, okay? Are we clear on what to do? Yes, it's all clear? It's clear. Okay, good, let's open the rooms. Nelson, ¿qué pasó? Nothing. ¿Ah? Nothing. Nothing. Yeah, I noticed nothing happened. <laughs> um, well, did Tenaida go somewhere? I wake up, but I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, we're going to wait. Uh, hopefully, she comes back. Okay. I'm going to go and see another group. Ahí está. Okay. Hello, Zenaida. Hello, Tisha. All right. So, you're working with Nelson, right? Okay. Okay. Hello, Zenaida. Hello, good evening. Uh, solo es como de discutir, but using the, the could and the would. Okay. So, um, uh, number one. Um, the manager uh, would could, could have could have um, what, Donna, a uh, meeting? Yes. With the, what? With all the cashiers. 
este. Because they don't want, uh, he don't want to say who is the thief. Hey. <laughs> The manager could have done a, a meeting. A meeting with the cashier. With the cashiers. With the cashier, okay. Um, the number, number two, two is Tome Broker. Um, three? Uh -huh. Alguien como que ha este, roto va, el vino, ¿verdad? Somebody uh, broke three bottles. Three yes. Uh -huh. Of oh, the yeah. best wine. Ah, uh, mm -hmm. no han no me de no han informado. No han, no han, han, no han comunicado, the, algo así quiere decir. Este, none of the servers has uh -huh. reported the issues. Entonces. The server hasn't reported the issue. Okay. Okay, what the manager have to do in this case? Or oh, what have he had to, to do? Uh, maybe the manager. Uh, call. How? Uh, report mm. no, bueno. the, no. uh, the manager could have discounted los hubiera descontado <laughs> la, como really, ay, así es la, la realidad <laughs> because no one no, nobody wants to talk sí uh, and so the manager could have this count. Uh, um, in, in my case, uh, I no, the servers should have pay paying the the cost. Mm -hmm. um. In my case, check the cameras. Is there and deduce the responsibilities. Okay. See, I will come. Mm -hmm. uh, my customers complain that my servers take too long to deliver the food. Mis clientes. La tercera no la entiendo muy bien. Eh, que habla sobre, sobre que la hay queja de los clientes porque se tardan mucho en la comida, a veces la entiendo. My customer complain that my service take too long to deliver food. Deliver mm. food. Se me ocurre que haría yo. 
My customers complain that my servers take um, um, I I could have uh, I found it. Mm. Yes. The second one, someone broke three bottles of the best wine in the restaurant, but none of the server has responded to the issues. Yes. Mm. The manager could have. The but none of the servers has reported the issues. So. Como, la, bueno, esa le entiendo como quien rompió tres botellas en el restaurante, vea. Uh -huh. But none of the servers have no, the service no, reported the issues. The manager mm -hmm. the, the manager should have made discount in may discount No, and may this respective discount, the respective discount for the tree. For the tree. Bottles. Bottles. ¿Cómo se dice bottles? Bottles. Okay, bowl of, of wine. Uh -huh. Vaya, queda. The manager should have sanctioned the winter and the main discount. No, and make the respective discount. Discounts. Forty-three bottle of wine. The vino. Number three. For the point, okay. Ah, eh, espérame. And make the respective discount. Forty-three bottles of wine. Uh, number three. Mm -hmm. My customer complained that my servers take too long to de deliver the food. Mis clientes se quejan de que el mesero tarda, tarda demasiado en entregar la comida. The manager. Podría cambiar mesero. Sí, cambiar mesero y capacitar al otro, capacitarlo bien. Remember, keep it in English. Okay, perdón. The manager show how um, the manager could have a signal, así es el uh -huh. a signal. Sería the manager could have a signal. The, a, the, sign. The employee. a sign. A sign. A sign. Mm -hmm. a sign. The manager could have a sign. Teacher, aunque wow. vaya aunque vaya escrito al final ed. Yes, assigned. Assigned. Mm -hmm. 
assigned. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Assigned. Assigned. Just en pasado. Uh-huh. The manager could have the manager assigned. Could have assigned uh, the employee. The employee and share. Uh, No, the opogamole the server, the server. Ah, okay. The server. No. Um, the man I mean, could have a signal in Sherish, the report. Sorry, uh, in Sherish. The report? Yeah. Uh, a cargo del report? A no? cargo. Yo he puesto que el, el, eh, the manager could have a signal. Eh, mm -hmm. O sea, un un encargado o sea un a manager de de bebida o, o. de bebida que llevase el control de las de la botella o, o, en, en específico o, uh -huh. De licor, por ejemplo. The manager could have assigned a manager who will control the liquor. The employee, mejor va. Yes. Mm -hmm. O un supervisor mejor. Vaya. A mí así me queda. No sé si le parece. The manager could have assigned a supervisor who will control the liquor. Que el manager podría haber asignado a un supervisor que llevara el control del licor a diario, le pongo. Mm, no. No. The manager could have a sin, a sin, a supervisor. Assigned. Assigned. Uh, the area, the server. El área the supervisor de assign a sub, the... A supervisor, the area, the server, or the server, the area. O sea, del área de los meseros, porque así va a abarcar todo sobre de los meseros. Uh -huh. Ok. So, <coughs> the, the last, the, the first, the first answer, um, la dejamos así. Sí. The manager. The manager should, should have gotten after the staff to interrogate him. Okay. And the second, uh, the manager should have checked the security, the ca security cameras. Camera. Okay. And number three. three. The manager will have called the attention of the servers. 
all the servers. Okay. And four, the manager should have fired the kitchen manager. Yes, in number five. five. Uh -huh. The manager could have asked for help to make the server more un un understand. understandable. Understandable. Okay, guys, so you had chance there to talk to your classmate. Yes. No. Yeah, you had did you finish all of them or do you uh, do you still need more time. We need more time teacher. We need more time. Okay. Um, all right, well, we'll, we'll do a little bit more time uh, for tomorrow's class. Okay. Is that okay for everybody? Yeah, we can continue. Yes, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Okay, we'll continue uh, for tomorrow then. Okay, but before we finish, um, let's take a look a little bit about some vocabulary. Um, so please tell me if you can see. Yeah, see my PowerPoint? Yes. Okay, so here we go. Uh, no, hold on. That, okay, that's a vocabulary. Match the words, their meanings. If necessary, go back to the passage to check your answers. Okay, so let's take a look at some vocabulary. We have seven words here. We have surveillance, reassure, Behavior, theft, wage, tip, and spooky. So we're going to do this together, okay? We're going to do this together um, to figure out what we're going to, um, uh, what 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 we're going to answer, okay? Um, Okay, so let's start with the first one. Give me a moment. Um, okay, so hold, give me a moment. Here we go. So we have a surveillance. What would be surveillance? Vigilance. The way the way someone acts. The actual time of the stealing, the amount of money paid to an employee, something that causes fear or nervousness, to rem remove someone's doubts and fears, to act, the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime, or to give a small amount of money to someone who has provided service. The act of the act Closely. Good. The act of the act of watching someone closely to detect a crime, surveillance. Okay, so like very Spanish, very similar to Spanish, right? No, no, no sorry, no, so not like Spanish, but um, yeah. So basically, you're you're looking, you're observing to see what you can find, okay? 
Next, we have reassure. What do you think is reassure? 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 To remove someone's doubt and fears. Exactly. To remove someone's doubts and fears. Okay. All right. That's it. Very good. Behavior. The way some, uh, someone the way acts. Walk. Good. Very good. The way someone acts. Mm -hmm. Very good. The way someone acts. Excellent. Next. Theft. What is theft? The action, the action or claim the action of stealing. stealing. Good. The action of crime of stealing. Mm -hmm. Good. Next. Uh, wage. The amount, the amount of, money of money of pay to employees. Employee. Good. Um, the amount of money in to an employee. Okay, next. Tip. Tip. To give a small, to give a small amount of give money to amount someone of money who has to provided to a service. Good. Sure. To give a small amount of money to someone who has provided a service. Okay, very good. And finally, this one's the most okay. difficult one, right? Spooky. Spooky. Something that's how fears or nervous nervousness is. Nervousness. Very good. Spooky is something that causes nervousness, a fear or nervousness. Okay. So just making sure that you understand this. What is surveillance? How do you say that in Spanish? Surveillance? Vigilancia. Vigilancia. Mm -hmm. Reassure. Tranquilizar. Uh -huh. Tranquilizar. Tranquilizar. Okay. Um, very good. Um, behavior. Sueldo. Behavior. Comportamiento. Comportamiento. Conducta. conducta. Mm -hmm. Very good. Um, next, we have a theft. Robo. 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 Mm -hmm. Wage. Salary. Salary. Yeah, it's it's um un sueldo, un sueldo. Mm -hmm. Tip. This. Uh, yes, but not in this context. Oh, no. Propina. Propina. In this, no, propina. In this context, uh -huh. it's propina. Mm -hmm. Ah, sí, sí. And spooky. Huh? What was that, spooky? Escalofríos. Escalofriante. Escalofriante. My dog. No, no, escalofriante, algo que, que, que hace que uno se siente con escalofríos. Ok. All right, guys, so that's it. That's all. All right, and today, that's it. That's all for today. Um, you have enough information to complete the platform now. So remember, don't forget, today is the last day to finish all of Unit 3. Ok. So, sin que. Sin tomarnos más tiempo, vamos a rápidamente tomar asistencia. Ustedes ya saben, todo tienen que abrir su, su micrófono rapidito para que podamos tomarlo lo más antes posible. 
Okay. Here we go. Uh, first, Alejandra. Present teacher. Very good, Cristina. Present Very good, Annie. Present teacher. Excellent. Uh, Mari. Present. Very good. Um, Carolina. Present. Uh, Christy. Present. Herson. Present. Karina. Present. Linda. Present. Okay. Um, Julia. Julia. Marlene. Or Present. Marlene. Very good. Uh, Mayra. Mayra. Miguel. Present. Nelson. Present. Norma. Olga. Present teacher. Rafa. Rafa. Se me desconectó Rafa. Hmm. Okay. Zenaida. Present teacher. Very good. Uh, Suleima Rodriguez. Present teacher. Stephanie. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Nancy. Present. Okay, Nancy, uh, good. Juan Carlos. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Karen. Present teacher. Very good. Suleima Melgar. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Y Carla. Present. Very good. Ok, entonces um, hoy me quedo con Argelia y sería todo, chicos. Acuérdense, no se les vaya a escapar de que tienen que completar la unidad 3, ¿ok? Se cuidan mucho, pasen buenas noches y que descansen. Bye. 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 Argel, Nancy, mm -hmm.
Sorry, teacher. It's okay, Argelia, no worries. No worries. You said, no me escuchó cuando, cuando le dije. No. No me escuchó. Vale, mire, eh, Argelia, como ahorita eh, está un poquito tarde, si usted quiere, podemos tenerlo hoy. Si no, si usted es muy tarde para usted, podemos hacerlo mañana también, como usted guste. Y no habría ningún problema con hacerlo mañana. No, porque ahorita, el, ahorita la, la semana que entra es, um, es semana para que se puedan repetir. Ah, ok. Entonces, si se puede mañana, está bien. Vaya, de acuerdo, no hay problema. Eh, así que, um, sí, ah, pero uh, antes de nada, solo quería preguntarle si había entendido la información del día de ahora. Uh -huh. Sí. Ok. Uh, me costó un poquitito porque... Eso casi creo que nunca lo había visto. Era la primera vez. Mm. Y se lo sentí un poquito difícil, pero sí, con el ejercicio lo entendí. Ok, perfecto, perfecto. Solo acuérdese, como estamos hablando del pasado, siempre que hablamos del pasado, eh, cuando estamos haciendo, hablando de, de um, remordimiento y todos, siempre vamos a usar el have. Eso uh -huh. es esencial. Siempre, siempre, ¿verdad? Entonces, y, y no importa cuál es el pronombre, siempre, siempre. Eso le iba a preguntar, ajá, que si se tenía que cambiar o algo, pero de ahí usted lo aclaró, entonces por eso dije. Uh -huh, sí, sí, independiente, porque la regla en inglés es que siempre se utiliza el infinitivo del de verbo después de un, de un auxiliar, de, de un model auxiliary, o sea, como uh -huh. word, word, siempre, entonces no importa cuál sea, siempre va a ser have. Ok, ok. okay. Va, entonces, eh, lo que puede ser, ajá, cual, cualquier preguntita que tenga para mañana lo aclaramos, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. o si quiere, o si también ayuda con, con la plataforma, lo que sea. Aquí estamos. Lo hacemos mañana, entonces. Ok. okay. Uh -huh. okay. Muchas gracias, teacher. A ver, Angelia, cuídese. Bye. Adiós. Bye. Bye. Adiós.